welcome back to my channel so today we're just going to be doing something very very simple fresh every day no makeup makeup i'm not sure what you guys are going to call it but yeah i just want to show you guys how i apply a very simple summer ready makeup and of course when we're talking about summer makeup guys one thing a lot of people always avoid is their spf guys so for me personally i'm not into spf but what i always look out for whenever i'm doing a summer makeup because of the fact number one i have a very pro problematic skin and of course you guys know when you get sun exposure on top of a problematic skin it's not always the best so what i always look out for is products that have the spf you know whatever I'm using because I wouldn't like I'm not used to just getting SPF and just you know putting on my face some people say it's actually not SPF there's sunscreen I think that's what they call it sunscreen but anyways you guys so what I usually do is to look for products you know if I'm applying a primer I look for primers that have SPF and it's always recommended to use SPF of SPF sunscreen of at least 30 you know you see how they have SPF 20 SPF 30 SPF 50 so what I do is I look for primers that have the number of SPF I'm looking for and this one right here is from Covergirl this is their full spectrum and it's their matte ambition mattifying skin primer and it has SPF 20 as you all can see so I'm just gonna quickly use this so you know apply on my skin and of course you guys S SPF is so good it just helps especially even when you're inside it's funny because I used to think that you know people that actually need SPF are or sunscreen are people that kind of go out you know when you get yourself exposed to the Sun you that's when you need SPF but that's when you need SPF but no you know a lot of dermatologists would always tell you that even if you're inside the house just raw sun can also impact your skin and then for kind of my foundation i always like to keep it so light because you guys know it's so hot right now like the weather is a beast outside so what i always love to use is a tinted moisturizer and over here i have the that's if my camera can pick it up i have um laura messier tinted moisturizer this is kind of gonna act as my foundation and with this one right here it, it has SPF 30 sunscreen you guys I'm not sure let me see if my camera can pick it up come on camera okay so as you all can see it has SPF 30 you can see it right here it has the sunscreen since I have 30 here and I have 20 here that automatically makes it 50 that's usually how i calculate it and the shade i'm using here is um walnut 5n1 so i just and of course when we're talking about tinted moisturizers guys this is actually a moisturizer but it just has a little bit of a um, pigmentation to it you know so this is far lighter than a foundation it's just as if you're putting on a moisturizer but you know it has let me say simply put it is like you're putting on a moisturizer that you just added a little bit of your powder to kind of and of course guys whenever I'm applying um, a product that I know don't have a lot of coverage I always love to use my makeup sponge this one right here is from beauty crush cosmetics I absolutely I love it like I love it so much the shape you know I've been using this makeup brush this sponge for over two years now this particular sponge and it's still holding up very very well so basically I just go on use my sponge so blend out the moisturizer Since this is a summer, since this is summer season, guys, it's so funny when you're blending something like towards your neck, and then you're talking, your 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 voice starts um, jig, jig, jiggling, jiggling, yes. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna go in quickly and 
set this face because with a summer makeup you need to use as less product as possible even with powder even with your foundation too that's why a lot of people use them um, tinted moisturizers because they are so light and I'm just gonna go in and set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder this is their huge I think this was their celebration something something you know so I'm just gonna go in as you all can see I don't I didn't apply any concealer because it's too hot just go in just you just want to apply the powder exactly where you would if you had applied the a highlight you know a concealer just apply it set the whole face because as especially if you have an oily skin and you don't set your makeup you end up looking like an oil like a grease ball so it's always advised whether you have an oily skin if whether you don't it's always advised to make sure you set your makeup so basically that is exactly what I'm doing here and of course with my powder too you guys can see I'm just stapling I'm not um, dragging I'm not moving it around just push it into your skin when it comes to the summertime one thing I absolutely 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 love using is a bronzer and this one is from LA girl guys very very affordable but it does such an amazing job so I'm gonna be using my whoo one of my favorite brushes like my favorite brush brand beauty crush cosmetics they have this um contour and and blush brush um, combo or duo this one right here so you can use this to contour you can use this to apply your blush I'm definitely gonna link everything in my description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing the brush so I'm gonna use the contour side and just pick up the bronzer when it comes to summer guys like I absolutely love that bronzy you know that bronzy look so I'm just gonna pop on some bronzer look at this you see how nice that bronzer is I'm talking of like how pigmented the color is of course when I apply I just like to apply first before going into blend so I apply it um, by the side of my cheeks my hairline my jawline this will help to add some type of color some type of um, shape to the face also the jawline and when I'm applying it on my jawline I always like to you kind of when you're using a bronzer right you're kind of creating a shadow and also adding color to your skin at the same time so I always like to create the shadow right right here underneath my jaw so you will have that very nice shadow under there Then I like to go in and just blend. I like my face to be really, really bronzed up. Just use your bronzer, bronze up the skin. You want your skin to look really, really nice and healthy. Even though we have acne and things like that. Well, you just, you know, you try your best to just keep it very, very nice, fresh, and bronzy. We're also going to use the bronzer, just shape up my nose, my flat nose, right? Just use the bronzer to shape it up, and then the same bronzer, I'm just going to go into it, and just run it across, like, during summer, guys, <laughs> eyeshadow is not my thing I just like to use my bronzer as you all can see I just use the bronzer by the side of my nose and I simply just trace it you know from the side of my nose just take it into my crease see just kind of creating shadow on the crease and that's basically all I need did you hold local government elections where you in a number how do you have the local government money 
they are also asking that why are you not in Osho now campaigning for the candidates of your party in Osho State? And they are also saying we should ask you that would you restructure Nigeria, yes or no? Those three questions. Okay. Fine. I'm sorry guys, I took out the time to put on my brows because it's um, you guys always see me do my brows but at the same time I was watching the um, kind of debate with um, Nigerian forthcoming election guys so yes all right so I just did my brows and the next thing is um yeah we just go in quickly and align my waterline as you know guys even when I don't do nothing to my eyes right let's assume I'm not wearing lashes or anything just putting a darker um, color on my eye it gives it that very nice smoky look without it being too much I just absolutely love lining my waterline let's apply some mascara just to tame my natural lashes because sometimes my natural lashes be having the mind mind of its own so just made apply some mascara of course this is definitely optional guys if you want to put on your lashes if you don't care for lashes don't put it on just have your um, your mascara and you're good to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips ah and guys I'm breaking out right by my lip this can be so 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 painful lip acne very very ridiculous and then for the lips i'm just gonna go in with my la girl um uh, i'm trying flare liquid lipstick what is summer without some highlight right so i'm just gonna apply highlight and i'm using this keiko 208 and um, eyeshadow but it's so good for highlight so i'm just gonna look at that look how vibrant that color that you know highlight is i'm just gonna apply it right here right here the bridge of my nose just you know to bring in a little shine to my face Noisy. The Nikers have watched it out there and they've taken note of all you have said today. Well, you guys, so I think this is all they wish to this look right here. I just kept it very, very simple, fresh. Should I apply some spritz? I don't know. Do you guys think I need some spritz? I wanted to apply a lip gloss, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, you know? Yeah, just gonna leave it like this, no lip gloss. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to pick up one or two, you know, tips or tricks. Please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I was just doing this tutorial and also immersing myself with, you know, what is going on with the election in Nigeria, guys. Like with the election preparation in Nigeria. And I just want to say this, you know, we all already know the state of our country if you're Nigerian you already know the state we are in and um, yes I feel like 2023 should be a year of redemption it should be a year of restoration because if we miss 2023 guys Nigeria is gonna be done for that is just what I feel the next eight years there is gonna be a lot like people are gonna die like mosquitoes because the way that country is looking right now I just want to say that if you're watching me you know and you're from any part of con of Nigeria you know you if you're you're from any part of the country just vote with your conscience look at the look at the the situation or the condition of the country and just vote 
with your conscience. I don't want us to vote based off of our religion, based off of, oh, this person is Aosa, this person is Igbo, this person is Yoruba. Let's vote for the person that is really going to help to restore Nigeria because at the end of the day, we only have one country, one country, and no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you are in the world, guys, you would always remember home. Home is where the heart, you know, the home is where your heart is. And um, yeah, that is basically just what I want to add to the end of this video. But yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed. And till my next one, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Why you gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you